From the words of Dr. John A. Hanna, president of Michigan State College, our every activity became geared to the war effort. In dedicating ourselves to help win this war in the least possible time, we did not lose sight of post-war problems and the challenge of rebuilding the world. My name is Matthew Wilcox and I'm the audiovisual archivist at University Archives and Historical Collections. One of the biggest projects that I'm working on at the archives right now, um, the digitization of Spartan Athletic motion picture films. Uh, we have basketball films that go back to 1941 and football games that go back to the early 1930s. During the time of World War II, I saw a lot of instances in, in research and in some of the films that I've worked with where there was a collaborative effort to try to uh, rise above and uh, make a difference and make a contribution not only to help uh, bolster the name of Michigan State College, but to make a valid effort towards the war effort. Specialists in horticulture are searching for substances which cause spoilage in dehydrated vegetables and fruits thereby assisting materially in saving more food for the home and battlefronts. Up until uh, May of 1943, the Board of Trustees was certain that there was going to be a regular football season for that year. There were more students that were enrolled for training, on-campus training for military, ROTC and such. And because of the relationship that John Hanna had with the War Department, the War Department asked that students enrolled in military training not be made available for intercollegiate athletics. That ultimately led to John Hanna's decision to forego intercollegiate athletics for that year. The state news alluded about a week before John Hanna made his final decision that they were certain that there was going to be a football season, but there were rumors that were floating around that there wasn't going to be football for that year. And it wasn't until, I believe it was August 11th of 1943, that John Hanna made the campus-wide decision that 1943 football season was going to be canceled. In the 1944 yearbook, there was not even a mention of the fact that there were no athletics for that time. The head football coach, Charlie Bachman, was later loaned out to Camp Grant in Illinois to serve as sort of a civilian football coach for uh, one of the wartime football teams. Uh, he was there for two months. The assistant coaches to Charlie Bachman wanted to keep some form of football going on campus, so there were uh, five teams that were made available and his assistant coaches were each coaching uh, one of those separate teams. So there were on-campus engineers, non-campus engineers, veterinary students, and so on. Each played four games during the 1943 season. We believe a living university, and Michigan State College is in fact a university, must stand or fall upon its ability to serve the public. In 2020, um, despite the fact that the university is now 100% uh, remote learning, we're still doing the best we can as a university, as, as faculty, students, and staff, to try to come together and overcome the adversity that we've had to face with this pandemic. <laughs>